Troy Lily Schaefer and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the first video that I am doing with a special guest, which would not be more fitting if it weren't my dad and Why? this puppy. <laughs> Why, thank you. First, I thought because we're getting closer to the book and I just opened it that I would show it to you. Oh boy, because I have not. Close yeah. your eyes. Okay, <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh my goodness, the dogs look fantastic. I know, look at Rue's little jacket. Yeah. Alfie's bandana and Echo in his pink mohawk. Excellent, and it's this is your my daughter's first book, hardcover, congratulations. Pretty crazy, thank you. It's beautiful, <laughs> and you know, it's all with you it's all about the dogs. They're There's no the... picture of Victoria no, at, it's oh, from the on back. the back. Well, exactly, my point exactly. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about today is like everyone who meets me thinks that I've grown up with dogs my entire life, that we grew up in like an animal household because of how extreme this dog obsession, if you will, has become. You said it, not me, but go ahead. <laughs> but it's not the case at all. It's actually, I had to work really hard to get our first dog. You as did, a and, you, and it's all in the book. Uh, but when Riley, our first dog, well, how old were you when you finally? Well, Oh, 12. Okay, well. That's quite old. Yes, I suppose so. Yes, you had to negotiate, and your mother, of course, had uh, very specific rules uh, under which uh, circumstances only she would allow it. See, I don't remember that. Well, one of the things was, you know, they've got to stay downstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those rules sort of started to deteriorate as we got a little older. Just, we would, well, we would she, sneak them upstairs, remember? Well, what I remember is, you know, they were very strict and the dogs were, were strict to the lower area until your mother would go out, maybe on a weekend <laughs> trip, and as soon as we heard the dog, you would say, dogs all over the house. <laughs> all right, here we go, and all rules were on. Yeah, and I think there's a photo of Jake. I see Jake right here, yeah. Yep. And they were both uh, half labs, so they kind yeah. of matched, but of course they were both individual rescues that yeah. you found from different One one was from, I think Riley was from Washington, D.C., and then Jake, that was interesting because you weren't even in town. I wrote about it in the book. We just sort of like woke up one day and we were going to North Shore Animal League to get a dog. It's true, and uh, I heard about it, I guess, later. And that surprised me about your mother that she would. I know. You know, and it wasn't her idea, Riley needs company, yes. she said. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of getting mother she is. She wants everybody in the family to be happy. Uh, and you guys were not dog lovers. We weren't we weren't dog haters. No, but you weren't dog lovers. Uh, but I, would you say that you're a dog lover now? Absolutely. And so is your mother. Yes. We became dog lovers. Yeah. And uh, Jake and Riley are first our dogs. They're no longer with us, but boy, they taught us how, you know, because they loved us. They were lovers first. Yeah. They showed love. This is reminding me that my first, like, rescue advocacy experience was you and I doing, I guess it was a commercial for the Humane Society. Yes. They came over to our house. You had Riley and Jake. I, by then, had Echo and Rue. And, uh, you know, you were, he had moved out of the house. Yeah. You were a college student around this time. Yeah, but it was still, <clears throat> I was into rescue, but it was the first, like, thing that I had sort of made something to show the world. And we made the, the commercial with all four dogs running around. So, so it's been a long journey, I guess, is what we're getting at, even though you didn't start till you were 12. We don't give away your age now. Uh, but you still, you know, you got us, two dogs, you got uh, us parents, you got us in indoctrinated, and then you moved to Los Angeles where your passion for this stuff just exploded. And uh, beautifully so and passionately so, and we're so proud. Thank you. And this book is just beyond. It's so crazy. Uh, I want to look at it. Well, as I'm looking at the, at the back of it, you have a number of big stars uh, endorsing you here. Kaylee Cuoco. Yeah. The publishers have given me very strict direction not to share any of the inside of the okay, book. Okay, we can't share it. No. Look, you do have contributions from stars mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, like Dan Levy, but it was all people that, that had um, connection, you know, who are dog lovers. So celebrities have uh, wrote, wrote in contributions, and we have a picture of Dan with his dog. Can't show it. Nope, can't show it. But, and, uh, and even Julian, my cousin, your nephew, 
Who is a great artist, by yeah. the way. Yeah, even Tony Bennett is a dog lover, which means you also have he, to be a dog lover. Don't worry. David. David Letterman, my old boss, a, a really funny story about uh, That's funny. where his first dogs came from. It was very oh, wait. Thing. All right, last thing, because I am sure they don't want to watch us do this and not show them, but look how cute. This is, you came with me that day to pick up Rue. She was like four pounds. And this was at a, cra I've never seen anything like this. A sort of a rescue organization sends a van up from the southern USA. Mm -hmm where they have collected these dogs and gotten them adopted by people like you. Yeah. And then a lot of them meet in a parking lot. At like three in the morning. Yes, <laughs> which we drove out together. And there was Rue and and Rue's uh, sibling. Rue's brother, yeah. Who had, who we met, who, you know, we met his new parents and stuff, and now uh, we have Rue. But she you can tiny. certainly, I mean, talk about if you wanted to talk parent into, you know, seeing what adoption is like and where it starts and how feelings grow, you know, that was sure a lesson for me. I think that's enough teasers of the book. Okay. Thanks for letting me get so many dogs. Book's amazing. Thank you. You know, it all pays off. <laughs> Crazy. And Bill Murray, it's one quote from outside the book. I could give away that. I, I did give it away, so you could give it yes. away Yes. He says, I use pup, pup culture, is your title, of course. I use pup culture's doggy travel tips as my own travel tips. Mm -hmm. It makes perfect sense. You have a big poster of Bill in your dog uh, nursery. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by dogs. Yes, yes and the he's, dog nursery. And he yeah. says, uh, "You can't trust a person who doesn't like a dog." Something along those lines. I agree. Well, he doesn't trust. It. He says, "I don't trust a person who doesn't like a dog." But either. I trusted you guys initially, and you didn't like dogs. But now I have the utmost trust for you guys because you love dogs. All right, thanks, Dad. Fun, nice. Congratulations, and good luck on the book. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye.